In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can import PowerPoint slides if you own PowerDirector 365. Some of you may be aware that in the 365 version, they've removed a tool to import PowerPoint slides. But you can do it another way, which only involves one extra step, so it's really not all that complicated. We'd like to show you how to do that in this tutorial. Let's assume we're going to create a video about woodpeckers. And I have a video that I put on track number one, where we have the woodpecker doing its woodpecker thing. And I'd like to add some slides that I've created in a PowerPoint presentation. How do I do that? Well, we're going to stop the video and then we'll import the slides. But first of all, we have to export the slides. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to switch to my copy of PowerPoint. And here we have my PowerPoint presentation. This is actually PowerPoint 2016, and I know that if I can do that in this older version of PowerPoint, you certainly can do it in a newer version if that's the one that you happen to use. So we have our slides. Now I have a tip for you. If you're going to create a PowerPoint presentation and know that you're going to export the slides of single images, you're going to lose your transitions. So if I have a lot of text on a single slide, as the last slide here, and I have these three bullets, if I export it, I won't have any transitions. But the trick is to create it without any transitions. Let me show you what I've done here. Let's take these last three slides. I've taken this one here, and I've made one bullet on the slide. Then in PowerPoint, I duplicated the slide. That's slide number seven I'm going to click on. And then I added another line. And then I duplicated that to the slide below it and added the third line. So when I import these three slides in sequence, I'm going to have the illusion that I have transition between the bullet points. So if I know that's how I'm going to export it as images, losing any transitions I might have put in otherwise, this is how I design my PowerPoint presentation. So that's a tip for you if you want that so it looks like that. And I've done that in more than one places in this particular presentation. So it will make it look like I have animation and then I can use even animation tools in PowerDirector to augment that. So I have my presentation. How do I present it so I can import it into PowerDirector? It's really not all that complicated. I'm going to click on the file menu in the upper left corner. And then I'm going to click on the save as option and I choose a location where I want to save it. I'll click this one here, and then I will choose the type of file. Now, I won't save it as a PowerPoint. I'll click on my drop-down. I have all kinds of options here. I'm going to choose a PNG. I could choose a, a JPEG as well. Let's do JPEG. And this is going to be my format. Now, it gives me a file name. What it will do is it will create a folder with this name and it will remove the extension. I can actually change this here to something else if I wanted to, and that will be the name of the folder where the files are going to be located. So I'm just going to click on Save. It asks me which slides I want to export. In this case, I want all slides. And then it will give me a result. It says this is the location, and this is the folder. I'll click on OK. Now we'll switch back to PowerDirector. I'm back in PowerDirector. Now I want to import the slides. I'll do Control Q, which is my favorite, and then I'm going to go to my folder. Here I have one now called Birds of the Wild, and here I have my slides. I could just as well import the whole folder if I wanted to, and I'll click on Open. Now I have my slides, and we're going to take them, and we're going to drag them down, and put them in our presentation. We can change the duration of each of them. But as I play this, you're going to see it looks like we have animation on our slides because of the way I exported them and created them. And we have now have the slides in our presentation with just one extra step when we're working in PowerPoint. So we export the slides, and now I can use these in this presentation in an instructional manner. So I hope you find this useful as you try to combine two very good tools to create a useful presentation in CyberLink PowerDirector 365.